Hey everybody, it's Doug with Artfully Rogue. And in this video, I'm going to address a popular question that keeps coming up on several of my videos. Which is better, white vinegar or apple cider vinegar? So to give you an idea about exactly what I'm using here, I have a piece of 20 gauge mild sheet steel. And then just because I'm gonna double check something, um, I've got a small piece of stainless uh, it's a, a 304 stainless steel, but it's also 20 gauge. I have some regular distilled white vinegar. This is typically what I use on all my doors. Uh, and then I have a apple cider vinegar. And because this is going to be a several day process, uh, I wanted to start uh, in the morning. So right now it's probably about uh, 9.30 in the morning uh, on a Tuesday and we're gonna kind of see how this progresses throughout the rest of the week. All right, I'm gonna start with the uh, apple cider vinegar and I've set the nozzle to do a, a spray mist as opposed to a stream because I wanna kind of, I wanna liberally cover the, uh, the steel here. So basically just trying to cover most of the steel with the apple cider vinegar. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the white vinegar. I've also set it to a spray, and we'll cover that nicely. White vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And now, what I find is when you cover the vinegar, it actually gives you a better rust. In other words, it gives you a little bit more character, a little bit more texture, a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna take this stainless steel and we're just gonna drop it right there. This is one minute into spraying the apple cider vinegar and this distilled white vinegar. As the vinegar is slowly evaporating, it's leaving behind kind of a very thin layer or top rust all right, we're about seven minutes in. So as you can see, the white vinegar tends to be just a touch lighter. In some of the areas that didn't get as saturated, you're still getting some very light rusting up here, but some of the areas that got a little bit more saturated, you're starting to see a little bit more color. Again, this is mostly surface rust. One of the differences that I wanna point out in the two vinegars is the bottle with the apple cider vinegar sprayed which with a much more fine mist. As you can see, the color is somewhat even throughout the entire area, as opposed to the white vinegar that wasn't really a fine mist. It was a spray, but not a fine mist. So it tended to be a little bit more fine in the center of the spray and a little less fine further out you went which is the reason you get some of these lighter edges as you move closer in and you start to get some of the darker areas. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a day and we'll come back tomorrow morning and see what we have. Okay, here we are back day two. The apple cider vinegar and the distilled white vinegar have been sitting on the mild steel now for at least 24 hours. And as you can see, color-wise they're about the same. The apple cider vinegar tended to cover more areas primarily because of the mist that was coming out of the bottle. It would actually spray a little bit better. Uh, so you can see it's a little bit more evenly dispersed, although you do have some nice texturing in there. The distilled white vinegar in the areas that had a little bit more of the vinegar uh, tended to kind of look close to the apple cider vinegar, but what you're really kind of seeing is like some of these really cool lighter areas here. Now I can rub my hands across this and I can get some of that vinegar to come up. It's still somewhat of a surface vinegar, or I said I say, it's still somewhat of a surface rust. Some of it has started to eat into the metal, like some of these areas here. I don't know if you can see that in the, uh, in the camera. Um, but let's say if I go over here, you can actually see where I can wipe away some of that surface rust. On the apple cider vinegar, 
You can do the same thing. You can wipe away some of that surface rust. Some of this is just sitting right across the top of the surface. Now, that might be a look that you want to go for, but as you can see, once you start to remove that, you're getting right back down to your mild steel. You can preserve this look by putting a clear coat on top of this. So, I typically use a uh, clear wood finish from Deft. Uh, it also works on metal, so woods and metals and a semi-gloss, and I just do a, a light spray, and as you see, that does kind of darken it up as well. And we're gonna let that dry, and then I'll go back and kind of test it to see how much of it comes off. And we'll do the same thing to the white vinegar side. Okay, so here's what's really cool. By covering it up, you will keep the vinegar from evaporating too quick, which creates a lot of this surface rust. Now this is only a day into it, but look how much more dark you get and how much more texture and designs and patterns that you actually get by covering up that metal. Now this is your white vinegar, all right? It's really kind of put in some cool patterns and I'm gonna leave this off of here and we're gonna let that dry from here on out into the open air. And here's your apple cider vinegar. As you can see, it's definitely a bit darker, but apple cider vinegar will give you a bit of a, a darker look quicker. And on a side note, the stainless steel actually took on some of that rust and discoloration. Keep in mind, this is kind of a typical 304 stainless steel so it does have the ability to corrode typically it takes a long time for it to do that but as you can see um, you can't really wipe it away that easily so it's starting to get into the metal so if you're looking to corrode uh, say stainless steel or try to rust stainless steel seems like vinegar might do the job for you it's just going to take a lot longer once you've given this a clear coat, you can now try to wipe it off and it's not gonna come off. So you can actually protect that surface rust from going anywhere simply by giving it a clear coat. I had to move this sheet uh, just a minute ago and as you can see, some of this darker stuff started to flake off. And that's what you kind of have to watch out for. So a lot of times before I actually put a clear coat on, I'll take a blast of air and I'll remove a lot of that top layer that just kind of flaked on there. Because as you can imagine, if you were to put a clear coat on top of that, you're really just putting a clear coat on top of some flaky rust. But as you can see, some of that came off. And now this is on the apple cider vinegar. Doing the same thing on the white vinegar. We'll remove some of that top flaky layer. Okay, so this is a full sheet that I've been actually, say, cooking for, gosh, probably a good several weeks. Uh, it's for a door project that I have coming up. So I've used white vinegar, and this is what it looks like after several weeks of just being sandwiched between metal. As you can see, the vinegar has really had a chance to kind of dig into that metal and uh, really created some cool patterns and some textures. Now I'll do the exact same thing that I did with the smaller piece, is I'll blow an air gun across it, but then I'll seal it with a clear coat just to make sure that everything stays. Okay, so to ask that important question, which is better? white vinegar or apple cider vinegar to be honest with you they work about the same 
Apple cider vinegar goes a little bit darker. My sole purpose for using white vinegar over apple cider is cost. For a gallon of vinegar, I pay about $2.50. For apple cider vinegar, depends on the brand, you're gonna pay upwards of about $4.50 to $4.75 per gallon. So when it comes right down to it, I use the white stuff because it's cheaper. If you like what you saw in this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments that you'd like to leave down below, please do that. If you have any suggestions on how to use these in a different way, put those down in the comments as well. Thanks a lot to my Patreon supporters, Barry and Marlene Rush, Judy Clothier, and Fun Kiss Artistic Creations. I'll see everybody in the next video.